I feel terrible. My arm feels terrible. Uh, it's just all bad. All bad. Every bit of it. Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. I have a very exciting episode for you today, but before we get into it, I must say that I am dedicating this series all season long to national gossip blogger Ken Rosenthal, because without him and his terrible journalism, I never would have had the idea to make videos like this to connect directly with you, the fans. So, if you would like to go behind the scenes of big league life with me all season, in the clubhouse, on the field, in game, on the plane, etc., I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss this or any future content. Oh, happy day, happy day. McLaren is here. My car is here. That's a great start to the day. Pretty excited to go to the field today. I think my new next tile sleeve is in with the little pill on it that actually collects data. So if it is in, I should have a pretty good solution for starting to measure some really cool stuff about the throw, uh, or my, you know, in, my, in my knees, my arm, whatever the case is. I'm excited about that. I'm hoping it's in my locker. I think there'll be some other stuff in my locker too, because usually when I come home, there, uh, there is. But that's what I'm excited for today, is the next tile sleeve that should be here. Just got confirmation that it's been shipped to me, so I'm hoping it's in. And I get to go to the field in my McLaren for the first time. Uh, I just love driving it. Just makes me so happy. What's up, DP? Is this, uh, who is this? Is this you? Oh, that must be me then. What did I get? I don't even know what I got. Next tiles. Can I use a cleat to open it? Oops, that didn't work. Let's see here. This looks like the arm sleeve. Very nice. All right, so when this thing's all charged up and my arm bends, It'll send information to this here phone and it'll tell me how much my arm is bending and how fast and how much force is being placed on my elbow. All right, let's put this on the ground. So you can see this, I'm bending my elbow. You can see it's bent and then it extends. Bends, extends. So it'll have a certain signature on the graph. So when I go through my delivery and bend my arm and extend it, that'll look like a certain a certain thing. And combined with the other metrics, the gyroscope, the accelerometer, whatever else is in the little sensor, it should be able to measure how many throws I make and how stressful they are. That's kind of what we're hoping and what we're testing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some throwing in and measure some data. Okay, so you can see right here, so right there, all those lines were reverse throws. They all kind of look similar and they look very different than what's going on over here. So it should be able to pick up that signature and tell me how many reverse throws I did and at what intensity, which would be pretty cool. Just got done throwing, data all saved. So I'm gonna let my analyst know uh, here in a second that it is in the cloud, because it's supposed to upload automatically. And they'll be able to tell me how many throws they think I made, because I know exactly how many I made and we'll see how accurate the counting is. It's very exciting. Giants to start the year. Dodgers 4-3. Muncie with a game-winning homer, I guess, is what it ended up being. Go ahead, homer. DJ Peters, first big league homer, smacked it. And uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of homers tonight. Three for us, two for them. Accounted for all seven runs. David Price shoved. Blake trying to nasty. Kenley Jansen nasty. Good game all around. Nice to get off to a strong start in this series. So we got Walker Bueller tomorrow. Julio after that and then uh, Kirsch to finish it off. So lined up pretty well on the pitching side for the remainder of the series. Uh, should be pretty fun and we need it. I guess we're half game back now of the Padres for the uh, best record in baseball and also division lead. So been winning a lot of ball games, a lot more fun than losing. That's for dang sure. Uh, I'm gonna go say hi to the family a little bit right now and then uh, get some food and figure out what to do by night. Cause we played a game in like two and a half hours. We usually play three and a half hour, four hour games, but two and a half tonight, 
flew right along. I like those games. Good morning vlog. I have a couple minutes till I have to go to the field and just been kind of doing some work. Had a couple calls this morning, nothing too interesting. However, I do not have a blank space on my wall and I have some shelving in that box there. So I'm gonna lay out the shelves on the floor and figure out what arrangement I want so that I can start getting those up on the wall. Do a little bit of rearranging in this room so I can actually have my studio room set up finally. It's been like a month and a half, almost two months now, and I still haven't gotten it set up, so we gotta change that. Pretty rough layout here, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. We're gonna have some of these boxes laid out in here so I can put stuff on top. And we're gonna have some shelves over here that kind of wrap around the side of the boxes. Shelves over here, hard to see them with the carpet, but uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And that'll all just be right up there on that wall. And then I'll start taking some of this other stuff that I have in here, bobbleheads and hats and shoes and all of this memorabilia stuff over here and uh, getting that in these boxes up on the wall. And then I got the lights here so I can light the background and light myself. So it'll be a lot better visually when I record stuff in here. And we got the camera set up here with the light. So coming along, but I gotta go to the field. I gotta take care of my day job. So I'll get more progress done on this tonight. Today's a pretty light day at the field. So I'm going to take my backpack with me and my computer so that when I'm done throwing, I should have like two or three hours to actually get some work done. Day two of testing the next tile sleeve. Gonna do some long toss today. See if it stays on the balls and long toss and if we get data. Shalani, you free? Where you wanna throw? You wanna go down there? You wanna go right here? We gotta figure out how not to pull the ball today. So I think it's my glove side. I think that's what's been going on. I think I've just been kind of lazy and then like landing here and then everything's going as one piece as opposed to like yanking this thing so it's an anchor so I can drive the ball forward. That's what I think. I don't know if that's true or not. But that just feels a lot truer coming out. On the road. Uh, lost tonight, Dodgers lose, 8-5. Crazy game. Walker pitched really well. Di Scafani was in trouble all night. Had a lot of opportunities in offense to put up some runs, but he was able to work out of it. And then uh, Posey hit a three run homer in the eighth, put us down 5 2. Barnsey in the ninth, bottom of the ninth, 5 2 game, hits a three run homer to tie the game. Pinch hit three run homer with two outs. Sick moment. Everyone was just, the stadium was going crazy. And then Albert comes up and hits a bomb that would have been a walk off homer, except for Talkman, like, made an incredible catch robbed him of a homer. You can check out that so you can check. Look, just look at this play. This play is ridiculous. He's at a full sprint to the wall, one fluid motion, goes up, brings it back, saves the game, and then uh, Giants put up three, top of the 10th, and we weren't able to get any, so lost eight to five. Um, but honestly, one of the more incredible half innings of baseball I've been a part of, just like the, how quickly it happened, and like the really cool half inning of baseball, so. Makes the loss sting a little bit less, given that it was just a cool game. But uh, still gotta come out tomorrow and, and get a W. Bullpen day, uh, I'm getting sick. My throat does not feel good, so that sucks. Well, we're yellow on everything today. Energy's down, part of getting sick, I guess. But I'm still gonna have a productive bullpen. I've made the decision that I'm gonna, I'm gonna battle through it mentally. So I got like five minutes to get myself in the right mindset to do that. It's gonna be an athletic throw day. Work a little bit on the glove side and then fire off about 20 bullets in the pen. Hopefully they're good. Call it a day. Yeah. Right now I'm not really, not really focused on the command, I'm focused on like the feeling of the upper half. So I'm trying to keep it still and let everything work. So I'm trying to change my leg kick a little bit so it forces my body to like stabilize the torso. Righty. Try a front hip, two seam. Change up down off. And a back foot slider. Well, bullpen didn't start off too bad, didn't start off great, but I finished really well. Got some good mechanical work in, so I'm gonna put the mechanics thought to bed. No more thinking about mechanics uh, tomorrow or the next day, so I'm gonna consider that resolved for now. If it's not, then I'll figure it out in uh, two days on the mound, figure out how to compete with it, but uh, done thinking about mechanics for this cycle, so that's a positive thing. Okay, so I'm a little bit down today because I'm getting sick. We went and did some red workouts to try to get ahead of the situation. So even though I have a system down, we kind of audible and 
and try to get around. Hopefully we can cut this off at the pass, and then two days from now I feel energetic and ready to go for start day. I'm gonna pitch regardless, but I like to feel good when I pitch instead of feeling bad. Sad to report, another Dodgers loss, 11 to six. Uh, Giants came out swinging, they hit everything all over, inside, outside, up, down, basically everything. Just one of those days. Boys played well, just one of those days that everything falls in and uh, the other team's just better that day. So, game four of the series tomorrow, Kirsch goes, day game. Yeah, gotta win that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home and watch some playoff hockey and lay in bed because I'm feeling a little bit better, but I wanna make sure and rest up as much as possible so that whatever progress we've made on feeling sick continues to be made. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Good morning vlog. Uh, my throat is scratchy, my voice is iffy. I don't feel very good, but I feel better than yesterday, so I think we hit whatever we needed to hit and uh, I'm on the upswing hopefully. Slept for 10 hours but didn't get very quality sleep. Um, I'm definitely sick. But anyway, part of the job, you know, I gotta pitch every fifth day or sometimes six or whatever the case is, but I gotta pitch tomorrow anyway and uh, I'm sick but gotta go out there and do it. Time to put on a happy and energetic face so I can give energy to the team instead of sucking energy from the team. So. Three, two, one, I feel better, I feel great. Well, we are very red today, which is not ideal. We did before start. Yeah, uh, if we show up like this tomorrow, it's gonna be a rough day, so hopefully my body figures it out tonight, because this is miserable. I feel terrible, my arm feels terrible. Hoping throwing feels better than terrible. Uh, it's just all bad, all bad, every bit of it. Oh my god, that was a struggle. I haven't felt this bad day before starting a while. Not good, not good. It's all right, it's okay though. Figure it out. These are the cards I have been dealt, so I will figure out how to win. Dodgers lose, so went one and three on this series with the Giants. <coughs> uh, not great. Lost five to four, came up a little bit short, so tomorrow we got a series with the Cardinals starting. I'm feeling a little better, but Actually, I'm feeling like considerably better than I was this morning, uh, but still not great. So I'm hoping that another night of rest, hydration, and sleep, uh, plus night game tomorrow instead of a day game will help me get back to a place where I can pitch effectively. Um, so tonight, since we have some extra time off, so a day game, I'm gonna go to a store and I'm gonna get a tape measure and I'm gonna try to hang some shelves on my wall. And I'm gonna work on my leadership progression document a little bit. Maybe watch some hockey. I'm just gonna take an easy night in the house and do some housework. Ooh, check it out, check it out, look at this. That's nice, dark frame, yellow outline, shadow box. That's gonna look nice on the wall. Where is Ace Hardware? I need a tape measure. So I just saw Mauricio Dubon's uh, sword celebration, put out a couple tweets about it. Internet got big mad, super mad. I have no problem with the celebration. The internet thinks I have a problem with it. My only thing is, if I'm the one doing the sword, then you should sword me back. Like the best interaction all year was I did the sword to Hosmer on a strikeout and the next at bat he hit a ball at my face, almost killed me, and he got my attention at first and he did the sword back to me. That's great, I loved it. Like you can't, I mean you can't really just like be whipping out the sword against like my team when like I'm the one doing the sword. It would be way better if you waited to do something to me, hit a homer off of me, and then sorted me. Like, I'm all for the celebrations, like do the sword whenever, whatever. You know, I'm just saying from a purely trolling standpoint, it would be better if you waited and then got me and then did the sword. But I think it's fun, I think it's funny. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Well, I figured with all the talk about celebrations just now, it'd be a good time to feature some of the case celebrations that people have been sending me. Oh, I'm just scrolling through my Twitter and finding some of the good ones. This one I thought was pretty good. Not something I've seen done at the big league level, but just the old classic, hey, I struck you out looking and I'm gonna ring you up myself. Thought that was pretty good. Here's a great sword celebration. Excellent use of it. I actually did it on a sword, four strike three, perfectly executed. Love that one. My dude here has got the uh, McGregor walk with the chest pound, combining two of my favorite ones. This one's actually a great idea. I really like this one. I might actually have to use this one next time someone swings at a ball in the dirt. This is funny. He's got the putter out. 
<laughs> this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. He gives him the old strikeout and the wave goodbye. Bye-bye. Subtle and a big middle finger, definitely. Waving bye to the opponent. Disrespectful. Okay, enough fun for the night. I gotta get some work done. We're gonna try to get these things here up there on the wall. So I got my tape measure, my drill. Gotta mark it all out, measure everything, and then uh, figure out how to hang it. So I'm probably gonna mess this up, but uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully not. I think that turned out pretty well. Not the best job, but for not having proper tools and not having done it very often or very recently, I'll give myself a passing grade on that. Gotta get the shelves up on the sides, but uh, coming along pretty nicely. It's gonna look pretty cool. When the lights are off, I'll have my light there and I'll film here, and so that'll be in the background. And then I'll turn these on. So these will kind of sit over on the sides. We'll give a nice little blue tint to it. It's starting to come together. I'll give you guys a look from back here. So this will be the camera that I film with and it'll zoom in so you'll only be able to see like this part. Anyway, it'll provide a pretty cool background. I'm pretty excited for it. It is game day and my body actually feels okay. I'm <clears throat> not quite healthy yet, but good enough to pitch. So still got a little congestion. Basically just been laying in bed all day, but it is time to go to the field and I'm gonna drive the car today. We've got the Cardinals today, one of the more uh, old school, traditional, kind of bland teams in baseball. Not a whole lot of celebrations or emotion or anything like that being displayed publicly on the field from them, which is fine, no problem with that. But there might be a little bit of a quiet day on the going viral front. Uh, with that being said, given that I'm sick, a good thing. Days that I'm sick, so let's talk about this for a second. Generally speaking, I'm only worried about getting through the game and trying to get the other team out. So you kind of focus in on the important things uh, more so than, I guess, a regular start. Not that you're not focused on those things at a regular start, but something about being sick just makes you kind of focus in more. So hopefully my body responds well and I have energy and it can just be kind of normal. But if not, that might be a thing where I just kind of don't throw as hard and don't really have the energy, but I command the ball and, you know, just kind of get through it. That's kind of a, a couple thoughts that go through my head on days that I'm sick, mainly just trying to get through the game and give my team a chance, not expecting a whole lot out of myself today, other than just get the ball over the plate and uh, give the team a chance to win. So far, body feels pretty good, but I'm not sure where my stamina is going to be. Hopefully it's there. Trevor Bauer trying to keep on rolling at home. He's made three starts here. He's won them all, and he's got a sub-1 ERA. A 2-2 pitch. Got him with a fastball. Blazing by the hands to finish off the score. first for Trevor Bauer. Look at that fastball with eyes to come back to the outside corner to get O'Neal looking. Bauer turns and deals a 2-2 and strikes him out with a high fastball. 1-2 pitch. To get Flaherty looking. Fourth K for Bauer. Well, we got a W. 9-4. Gavin Lux, huge game. Two homers. Chris Taylor with the bat of the night. 14 pitches and a bases clearing uh, double. To bring us back from tied 3-3 to uh, being up 6-3. Rough night for me. See, so yeah, I went six and two thirds. Five Ks, one walk. Give up four hits, five hits, three homers. So apparently every hit I give up is gonna be a homer. Haven't given up a run on a non-homer since April 26th, so over a month now. I guess that's the game. You just hit a homer off me or uh, you don't score. Yeah, just wondering how you felt about your performance over. I think I threw the ball really well uh, for being pretty sick coming in. I thought it was good. Commanded the ball really well, just frustrating, you know. I 40% of the hits I give up are homers. Uh, haven't given up a run on a non-homer in over a month. My luck on, on homers is terrible right now, so frustrating on that end, but it was mostly, you know, tonight we needed to win as a team. And uh, coming off a tough series over the weekend, to get off to a, a good start in this series is big. And the offense came through, and um, that's what we're here to do is win. So, good night overall. Huge.